Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now motorcycle comms are a real game changer. When you're out on a group ride or you've got a pillion on the back or you're out for a spin with your mate because it means that you can communicate together. Now EJAS have just sent me their latest in motorcycle helmet technology. These are the MS20s and they boast some serious, seriously cool features. Now for group rides, it's a mesh system, up to 20 riders. And the way mesh works is, is it bounces off of each bike that keeps you in communication throughout your ride. Not just that, if you want to connect directly on Bluetooth to things like other comm systems or just directly to your passenger, you actually can because it's got Bluetooth built in as well. Not just that though, not just that. It also boasts music sharing capability. And for me, I get asked that question all the time. Can you share your music? Well, with these, yes, you can. Plus it's got FM radio. That means that you can listen to your local news and traffic reports to keep you up to date. Not just that, it's waterproof. IP67, that means if it's gonna chuck it down with rain, it's still gonna be good. Also, it's got its own app and you can update it via the app as well, so it will never ever be out of date. So let's put the MS20 through an in-depth 11 out of 10 review. Cue the intro. So let's start with the grey unboxing. Now the packaging is well printed, well presented and lists all of the features on the comms. Opening the box you'll find a list of products that EJAS make including the instruction manual. This is well printed and extremely easy to follow including installation. Now you come across the MS20, the COM module itself, and it feels really good in your hands. Well solidly built, the buttons look nice and big, with one type C connector and an aerial that extends out that will help with the range. Also it comes with two speakers, a boom mic, a normal stick on mic, plus your charging cable, four velcro stick on mounts for your speakers, plus you've got your module holders themselves, one is a slide on and one is a permanent stick on. Now it's time for installation and this is super easy. All you need to do is remove the lining from inside your helmet. Then take one of the stick on Velcro pads for your speakers and put it in the location for your ears. Then of course repeat this on the other side. Next, take both speakers and put them on the pads. Make sure that you hide your wiring around the back of the lining of the helmet and obviously tuck your cabling in so it's in a nice, tidy, secure place. Once you've done that, take your microphone, stick that on the front slightly to the side so it's not directly in front of your mouth. Connect the speaker to the wiring loom and then you need to decide if you're gonna be using the slip-on mount or the sticker mount. On this situation, I prefer the sticker mount. Easily put it into place, press down, slide then the module into place. Connect your wiring simply by pushing it in. Now put all of your padding back into place and that is your installation of your comms complete. Looking clean and tidy. Always give your unit a full charge before use. To pair the mesh is super easy. Hold down mesh the buttons closed. for five seconds. Mesh pairing. And then press just on one unit once and they will pair. Pairing successful. So now it's time for the real world test. Now they're obviously connected via mesh, the MS20s, and straight away out on the road, what I've noticed is, is the buttons on the side are really, really easy to reach. The volume level seems really nice, crisp, and super loud, so you can easily reach it to turn it down, but all the buttons are super easy to reach. So let's see what it's really like in the real world in the communication side. So we're just poodling along here, kind of 25, 30 miles an hour, but can you hear me nice and clear on the back? Yeah, really clearly, uh, really clear sound. Yeah, definitely. The sound is like super crystal clear. Now, a lot of comms I've found sound quite tinny, but these have 
a really good natural bassy sound to them that I'm super impressed. So that was at 30 miles an hour and that was a really nice clear audio test. So what we're going to do next is we're going to bring it up to 60 because 60 for a lot of comms is where you do start to struggle to hear a person and because these are loud I've got no doubt these are going to be good. We're going to speed it up a bit and we'll try it at 60. So we're increasing the speed now up to 52, 55 up to 60 can you hear me nice and clearly now yeah perfect yeah that is crystal clear can you say one two three one two three one two three and that is bouncing straight back so i've got no doubt that we could have a conversation for instance so ladyhead's art channel that is obviously about painting motorcycle art so just tell us a little bit about that um it's commission based so if you have a picture of your motorcycle you'd like turned into a painting i'll do a one-off piece of art for you in acrylic on canvas and uh, you can have your bike forever see i heard every single part of that crystal clear and like i said really good i'm really impressed by the sound quality of the comms so riding at 30 riding at the speed limit at 60 miles per hour they are nice and clear so like i just said earlier the buttons are super easy to reach but say you're in a group of 20 and you want to mute your microphone because you want to either have a sing song to yourself or you don't want any of the feedback coming from a noisy exhaust for example just on here the so easy to reach the front button you just press and it tells me that the microphone's now muted that means that lady head can't hear what i'm saying so now if i say hello can you hear me she can't hear me so if i just press the button again it unmutes the microphone and now we're back into communication so can you hear me now yes yeah i can hear you there we go spot on every single time so next of course the biggest thing is the range test how far can these actually go they've got an aerial on them so i'm expecting quite decent range but in a group ride you'll be bouncing off of each other on mesh so even if you lose communications these will automatically connect but let's put it to the test so next up is the range test now abby's going to stay over there in a solid spot and i'm going to ride off into distance and we'll try to see how far that this can go once we lose connection i'm going to spin it around come back and they should automatically reconnect so here we go so can you hear me nice and clearly yeah perfect it's fine and it's all nice and clear still yeah really clear so if you're riding along we can continue to have the conversation as we're losing each other further and further back so can you hear me nice and clear yeah it's the same yeah yeah and am i still within line of sight yeah i can see you and that's quite a big distance the tree to me looks quite far back can you still hear me yeah i can hear you perfectly wow i'm going to keep going this way then let's see how far that we can go because that's an incredible distance can you hear me now yeah wow look right over there in the distance let's try again can you hear me yeah right we're going to go behind some trees so we should probably cut out around here for signal so can you still hear me yeah you're breaking up now you're breaking up and that's it we've just cut out so obviously we're behind a load of objects and to be fair should be a little little dot right back there now so that is quite a decent amount of range on line of sight it's quite cool so let's spin it around and let's see if they auto connect because of course that is going to be key if you're on a sort of a group ride you're going to need them to automatically connect right we're heading back now so let's see when they automatically connect again she's quite a distance away but we'll try can you hear me now so they haven't reconnected yet let's see if they reconnect now let's get a little bit closer it's around here where they cut out so let's find out can you hear me now hello yes i can hear you now and we're back connected wow <laughs> that's a cool that's really good i'm impressed with that that's a decent distance especially when you're out riding together to know that you can go that far back before they lose connection and like i said the automatic connection so you're not worrying about having to try to pair them up or mess around with it awesome so next up is music pairing now you can only do this from one device to the other on the ms20s what basically means you put them into bluetooth one's master and then one is slave it's quite easy and simple to do but that then means that you can share your music say to your pillion or your riding friend as you're going down the road that is something i think is a really unique and awesome feature so you can both enjoy listening to some tunes while you're chatting away at the same time so let's test them out now of course i can't use copyrighted music so i've had to download some non-copyrighted music onto my phone press play but let's see how good that they are Everybody, can you feel the 
Well, that's all the things that I would use the comms for. The real world test for me have proved how good this is because I can reach those buttons. The communication on these, it's so loud that I can turn it down. That means that I generally have no issue at speed being able to hear and communicate between us both. What's really, really impressive, really good sound quality as well. And then of course that music sharing feature between the Bluetooth one to the other. I really like that because when you're on that long ride, it means that we can listen to some tunes, we can chill out, we can share the same tracks and plus keep that conversation going. I'm super, super impressed. I really, really am. So let's jump into all the details. Well, the price of the MS20 is £127 for one unit. But for that price point, with everything this has got, the mesh and the, even the noise cancellation inside it when you're riding along, it cuts it out. So you don't have any of the background noise of the exhaust or the wind or any of that stuff. But for what this can do with the music sharing, the mesh up to 20 riders, being nice and loud, crisp quality sound as well, not too tinny, not too bassy, just right, I think is an absolutely cracking deal. So I'm going to put all of the information, all of the details that you need to order yours from their website down in the description. So pop down there, click on it if you're interested in an awesome set of mesh comms. I'm super, super impressed. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so as well. And I will see you in the next Bonkers Helmet Head episode. You take care. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>